and they are completely ripped. Protein is a humongous myth. Do we need protein? Yes. Do we need it from animal sources? No. One of the things I do here at the clinic, and I'm happy to do it again, I'm willing to do it in the next week or two, is I do a free tour of the grocery stores here, so, uh, especially Holiday on Placer. It's one of the best ones we have in this area. I do a free tour. I don't push the clinic. I don't push Holiday. The tour takes about an hour and a half. I've taken hundreds of patients on this tour. They have all loved it. When you get done with this tour, you will know the foods you can eat. I have been a vegetarian and then a vegan most of my life. I'm a vegan. Been one most of my life. Okay? I'm falling over dead yet. Doing very good. We rarely ever get sick. We do extremely well. There is so many. I became a vegetarian in 1981. In 1991, I became a vegan. It took me 10 years to go from vegetarian to vegan. Does everybody know what the definition for vegan means? Okay, good. Very good. Mary Tyler Moore, who's a vegan? Yeah, most of the young ones won't know this. <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore. I don't think you knew John Wayne, did you? <laughs> Mary That was cute. <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> most, most people don't know Mary Tyler Moore. Well, she was a famous actress. And she's still alive today. She's a vegan. Someone once asked her, what is the definition of a vegan? Because people are told, well, it's an extreme form of vegetarianism. They don't eat any kind of meat whatsoever. She put it great. She said, if it came from something that had a face, I don't eat it. It's that simple. So that's what my wife and I are. Um, I think, Lori, you are, aren't you? Also. That's right. Been, and again, we've been vegans for a very, very long time. You'll see in this information book if you sign up for it. And if you don't, I can get you copies. Um, you'll see these people. In fact, the man that's called uh, Peter, he's the strongest man in Germany. This man makes Arnold look little. He's huge. He's a complete vegan, been, I guess, most of his life. And uh, so there's food everywhere. But anyway, why did it take me 10 years to go from vegetarian to vegan? Because I really love cheese pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> and back then, what they called vegan cheese, I'd rather build walls with. They were terrible, <laughs> absolutely terrible. Within the past five years, they have come out, I could make you a vegan, pepperoni, cheese pizza, and you would not know the difference. There's so much food out there, so those that want to, I will take you on a tour in the next couple of weeks of the grocery store. It's all free. No commitments. You don't have to ever come back to the clinic. We do it as a public service. You will be amazed at the amount of food that's out there now. Absolutely incredible. Anybody else? Yes. I'd like to talk about Fukushima. It's kind of completely out of the news, but it's still it's ongoing. True. They and have found... They're all being irradiated. Well, they so. actually have found, to be honest, there, while there is some conspiracy stuff behind it, they have found the radiation. Do you know what she's talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the nuclear power plant melted down. They have found, it is true, here in Reading, we're pretty safe, that the radiation did actually reach San Francisco. It did get there. So the fish, the seafood, all that stuff, it's in it. Mm -hmm. It is. It may be to a low level, but any radiation is not a good thing. Because radiation, like heavy metals, is accumulative. The effect builds up over time. Okay, um, how do you get rid of it? One of the best ways is natural iodine. And what's one of the best ways to get natural iodine? That's all. Kelp. Kelp works extremely well. So but know, isn't kelp in No. I <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I mean, kelp comes from the sea, so isn't that also now... But the fortunate thing is we don't get it in a radiation-type area, but most kelp... Kelp is a plant. Right. It actually filters things out. You don't eat the roots of the kelp. You eat the... The leaves. The looks, oh, the floaty nice part. Together. It actually is an amazing filter, and we'll take it out and sense it down into the roots. But we really don't know uh, how far the radiation is reaching because they're not testing for it. Well, no, that's true. I mean, there's always a chance that we're getting it here. And so one of the best things, again, is one of the most important things you want to do with any kind of radiation is support the thyroid. The thyroid's the first one to get hit, the thyroid in the liver. Support the thyroid by taking kelp. It will filter it out, and it works very well. 
I also heard that taking baths with Epsom salt, baking soda, that is correct. sea salt, and even adding in um, what's okay. borax. That is very it's true. It's what the military uses for radiation. It causes the body to leach it from its skin into the water itself, and then of course you dump the water out. It right. does work. What's the combination? Um, you Epsom can, salt, baking soda, sea salt, and borax. In any combination of those. Yeah, Even Epsom yeah. salt by itself works. It's good, yeah. That's right. Yeah. It yeah. does work very well. That was good. Yeah. That's sweet. Anything yeah, else? No, maybe yeah. one full circle. When you talked about Ebola and how it's a hemorrhaging type right. cause of the bleeding, oh, what about addressing yeah. cayenne with that? Okay, and great. Maybe we'll wrap up with That's that because we're about yeah. it. Though. Okay, real quick. That was wonderful. Thank you, Lori. Okay, remember I told you that cayenne works on so many different things. It's great for the arteries. It's great for this. Well, my wife, who is my herbal poster child, Peggy, is wonderful evidence of what I'm about to tell you about. Okay, cayenne, we, we have it here at the clinic. We keep it in our medical bags at all times. Cayenne, Dr. Christopher in his 30 plus some odd years of um, treating patients, never, ever, ever, lost a patient to heart attack or stroke. I've been practicing about 15 and a half years. Never, ever, ever lost a patient to heart attack or stroke. If a patient, you know, you've heard about the four golden minutes when a person has a heart attack or stroke, you know, you start, okay. Cayenne will make it 20, 30, 40, 60 golden minutes and I've had patients that were actively having a heart attack. They hit themselves with cayenne tincture, it's quite hot, <laughs> it's very, very hot stops the heart attack and stroke in its tracks. Why does this work? When you take, and this goes with the bleeding, that was a very good thing to bring up. She's okay, that's why she works here. <laughs> when you take cayenne and you touch it on your tongue, cayenne causes a massive, and you can feel the flush, it causes a massive equalization of blood pressure, like that. If you're having a heart attack, it pulls the pressure off the heart. If you're having a stroke, it pulls the pressure off the brain. If you're bleeding, it takes it off very quickly, doesn't it? Ed? Oh yeah. Okay. My wife, <laughs> she knows, so she's been with me long enough, and she's been to some schooling. She knows. Um, cayenne will stop internal and external bleeding within 60 seconds, doesn't it? She was on two different events within about a week apart, right? It's about a week. Mm -hmm. I do like eating a lot of raw food, so my wife was. You were doing up some uh, zucchini chips, you know? Well, what do you call those things? Graders. Yeah, but it's like a slicer. Mandolin. 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 That's the slicer. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. very deadly. <laughs> you took the guard off, didn't you? Mm -hmm. She was impatient, so she took the guard off. Whack. <laughs> Piece of your finger came off. And it was actually spurting blood. Spurting in your kitchen. <laughs> spurting blood. Okay? She was like, oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is not a good thing. It should have been stitched. Absolutely. In a hospital, they would have done everything they could to stop it. It's actually not a good thing. We can stitch, but we stitch only in very special situations. Sometimes it's just better to leave it open and let it heal. But there's occasions where stitching is necessary. That was a pretty bad one. I wasn't home. I was here at the clinic. She knew where the cayenne was. Okay, and it's literally heartbeat spurting out. Quite bad. She went and grabbed the cayenne. She hit herself with the cayenne. <laughs> she also got real brave. <laughs> you put it on the counter, right? It's been clean. <laughs> put it on the counter and rubbed her finger in the cayenne. Hurt a little bit, didn't it? Hurt a lot. <laughs> How quickly did it stop bleeding? Seconds. Seconds. Within seconds, this heartbeat surge of blood. Within seconds, you literally saw it s slow down to where it stopped completely just by taking cayenne internally. And putting it on the wind was good, but of course that's, that hurts. Well, that was fine, came home, she told me all about it. Well, congratulations, you're wonderful. <laughs> Great job, babe. A week later, <laughs> um, she was washing dishes, you were done. They were in the drainer, okay? She reached over and grabbed a whole bunch of the silverware. Well, in the middle was a knife pointing down. She had no shoes on at the time. <laughs> Boop, the knife falls straight. Just like a cartoon, standing straight up in her foot. I was not home yet again. Okay, so she looks down, here's this knife sticking out of her foot. Again, oh my, <laughs> this is not a good thing. She knew when she pulled it out, out was going to come the blood. 
you had the cayenne relatively close. I, <laughs> I keep it in the kitchen. <laughs> she has given me more practice than anyone else has. She reached down, and tell, correct me if I'm doing this wrong, but she reached down, pulled a knife out of her foot, out comes the blood. You didn't put it on it this time, you just did it internally. No, I did both. Oh, you did both? Okay. She put it on there and took it internally. How fast did it stop bleeding? Oh, it was, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 seconds. That's it. That's it. I've seen this work time and time again. Same for internal bleeding. So the reason for a hemorrhagic fever, Ebola being one of the many, okay, it actually will work. If someone has Ebola and you happen to be one of the caretakers taking care of them, okay, and this can happen in a big national catastrophe, you don't get a chance to go to the hospital. You've got to take care of people or yourself right then and there. That was great. Take a big old dose of cayenne. It will stop the bleeding every single time. As an example, people with high blood pressure, they'll get these high blood pressure headaches. Okay? I did this with my dad one time. Just proved to him it worked. He'd get these, he just was one of those guys that for the rest of his life he just never got over being angry all the time. So he always had this high blood pressure, always had these high blood pressure headaches. And I told him, I said, next time you have it, I gave him some of the tincture. You can make it yourselves. It's so easy to make. And I told them, next time you have the high blood pressure headache, put one drop. So it's not so bad. One drop on your tongue. I said, count to ten. And he did it. Within ten seconds, the headache was gone. Because it causes this flush, this equalization of pressure. Pulls the pressure off the brain, and it works every single time. So that was a very good idea. We're having a special sale on necklaces that <laughs> <You're right. laughs> So I think we're going to... Okay, well, I'm going to ask one last time. Okay. Any other questions? Or Okay, okay yeah. Scott. One last question. With the, with the use of garlic every day, you talk about capsules, but what if you just want to do a raw garlic? I mean, how, how much raw garlic should you be taking? And how you know what? If I, were some, if I were anybody in here, and this is what I would do, as a maintenance, and people are actually doing this a lot now. Great question, Scott. You, uh, anywhere, like three cloves of garlic a day, three to five. And what a lot of people are doing now, because you can't taste it, is you put it in your juice, in your blender. You know, blend it up with everything else. You won't even taste it, and you're going to get that dosage every single day. So can day. you just take the clove as it is and toss it down the hatch? You most certainly can. Yeah. You absolutely can, and it doesn't hurt you at all doing that. Not at all. Connie's next here. Huh? Con one quick question. Yes. For bloody nose, would it be appropriate to do one, blood, one uh, drop of cayenne? Yeah. During the bloody nose? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, bloody nose has worked on. One drop. She said drop. You try one drop and see how their sensitivity does. I have seen it work, and especially in children, because mm -hmm. their bodies are little and more sensitive. Mm -hmm. It works. I've seen it, the no bloody nose I'm stop. Clarifying between drop and dropper full. Right. Yeah. 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 Now, now, I would use, so you see, you can use drops for little things, but if it's a heart attack or stroke or serious bleeding, one to two dropper fools. Yep. So they're going to be swearing at you. <laughs> but you know what? It's like a baby when they come out and you slap them and they start screaming. And screaming is a good thing. This is a good thing. They're alive. So, good, good question. How do we make the tincture? Okay. Okay, and then I'll do this. Okay. When my kids were all at home, I just took the garlic cloves and I took any broke them all open, Did took them in a Ziploc bag. Yeah. My kids would just take cloves and just swallow Good them. For you. And they would not get sick. Good for you. Like all the rest of the kids would. And everyone will stay And they wouldn't bring it home to me <laughs> so I could still go to work. You are you know? absolutely so right. We, and I still eat it like that. Fantastic. It's, okay. Yeah. Answering what he said, I'm going to tell you real quickly so you may have to write this down. This is how simple it is to make cayenne tincture. You ready? It's this simple. Okay. okay, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, to make cayenne tincture, you go to the store and you get the blue label, you guys can't, but mom can. <laughs> you go get the blue label Smirnoff vodka. Okay, it's, it's, the, it's the blue label, not the red label. Why? Red label is 80 proof, blue label is 100 proof. What does 100 proof mean? It means by law it is 50% alcohol, 50% water. That's all that's in it, okay? So you go get the blue label Smirnoff. This is the one I know is 100 proof vodka. Okay, some plants extract the medicinal properties with water. Some of them need alcohol. So blue label Smirnoff vodka, 100 proof is the best of both worlds. It has everything. So you get a glass jar with a lid, okay? And you put a bunch of cayenne in it, okay? And what you generally wanna do 
is the normal ratio, though it's not engraved in stone, is a four to one ratio. In other words, four liquid ounces of vodka to one powdered ounce weight, like on a scale, ounce of cayenne. And of course, you keep multiplying up. Eight to, you know, 16 to four, you know, you just keep multiplying up. So in other words, four to one ratio. So you put the amount of cayenne you want in there, then you put in four times as much vodka. It's okay if you put even more vodka in, because sometimes the end is being a slurry. You can do more, it's gonna be fine. Cap it, okay? Write on it the date and what it is, or you'll forget, okay? Shake it up really good. Remember how I told you three days with the garlic oil? Remember that earlier, how to make garlic oil? It's 14 days with this. So you take it, you put it aside somewhere where it's not in the direct sun, but you remember it because you walk by it all the time. About every time you can think of it, walk by, give it a shake. At least two or three times a day, right? That's what mm -hmm. you tell me. Two or three times a day, shake it up. Shake it up really good. Do this for 14 days minimum. You can do longer, but generally 14 days will do it. At the end of 14 days, you open the, you open it up, strain it through like an old-fashioned baby diaper, some kind of clean cloth, strain it all out, keep the liquid. That is cayenne tincture, that's all it takes. It is vodka, so it's rated, and I'll tell you better, it's rated to last 15 years. But I will tell you that it actually is extremely conservative. I know of someone who collects medieval tinctures, so mm -hmm. tinctures that are 500 years old. Wow. They're as good as the day they made them. It will last forever if you keep it out of the sun. You know, you can keep it, you can, it doesn't have to stay in the fridge, you know, like other things do. It will last forever. And it is the best, best herbal medicine I know of, to be honest with you. It works great. Does it help? Does okay. the strength of the cayenne matter? Yes, it does. Strength. Yes, it does. The, the standard uh, unit is 40,000 heat units. That actually is fine. They go all the way up to 160 to 200. They're great. Mm -hmm. You won't get a lot of people wanting to use it because <laughs> they will be on fire using it. But again, yeah. no tissue damage, no physical damage. It's just extremely hot. So the standard is 40,000 heat units. It's fine. You can do that when it works. So this is a regular cayenne? Regular cayenne. Regular cayenne. Yep, works great. Yep, very good. Okay. okay. I just got. Uh, a couple little things to say. Um, uh -oh. No, I am the I'm the cheap person. I'm sorry. Thank you. Sorry. I'm the one that doesn't like to spend money, and if you don't have it, you can't spend it. So, um, when you go to these health food stores, grocery stores, wherever, please read the label. Don't just because it says garlic. Don't take their word for it. Turn it around. For example, odorless garlic is worthless. Remember right. That. And it's full of fillers. On this one, you can read this bottle. It will tell you. And another thing that we use, too. We don't use just pure old caps in ours. These are our bottles. We use vegetarian capsules. Vegetable glycerin. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what's in these. Pure cayenne. I'm sorry. Pure, pure garlic. garlic with the vegetarian caps. No filters. Now we're not saying this for you to necessarily come here and buy because you have to right. be a patient to buy from us anyway. But when you do go out, always watch for rice flour, cellulose. Those we'll are fillers. There's no reason for fillers to be in there. You went to buy garlic or cayenne or whatever. Make sure there's no other ingredient in it. You're going to see others. I'm sorry, real quick. You're going to see others that say, oh, we've added some magnesium, mm -hmm. we've added calcium. It's garbage. You won't assimilate it. This is right here and you can get it if you want to become a patient all you got to do is fill out a little bitty piece of paper you can become a patient you can get it from us a whole well, I love to save money you can get it from us a whole heck of a lot cheaper than you can get it at grocery stores or whatever because Arendelle being a master herbalist we get a really good deal on our bulk and we pass it on to our patients because this is this right here is cayenne pepper It'll last you forever. It's a pound of it. It's a pound of it. And you can make your own tinctures right here. But this we'll, is garlic, pure garlic. But we'll go a step further. Some of their, our patients know, some of our, our students know. Here's an even better way. You want to really get cheap? We'll teach you how to do this. We'll teach you how to make your own capsules. 
Okay, for example, when we sell cayenne by the bottle here, it's just pure cayenne and glycerin capsules, and it's, what, like $10, $12 for a bottle? Okay, whereas this bag of cayenne, you know, whether buying it from us or someone else, is generally about $8. Five to eight dollars, yeah, something not, like that, and then you get your capsules. You could make many, many, many bottles just by learning to make it yourself. And we will teach you how to do that. And keep the boat kind on in hand. <coughs> Let me bring you songs from the woods to make you feel much better than you could know.